Hey, I'm Doug from Combology. In this video, we're going to talk about using Thrivecart with Thrive Apprentice and how you can use upsells with your courses and Thrive Apprentice products. So we're gonna talk about how to use upsells with your courses and Thrive Apprentice products. So the first thing that you want to do is create your upsell. Now, assuming you already have a product, which is a product inside of Thrivecart that sells a product inside of Thrive Apprentice. They use the same terminology, unfortunately. So we're going to say product in Thrivecart and product in Thrive Apprentice. Assuming you have your product created and assuming you have it created in both platforms, where we're going first in this tutorial is to the upsells tab. You create upsells in Thrivecart just like you create products. So when you come into the upsells tab, you can click create upsell and you're going to choose digital. And here you're going to give your upsell a name. This one's pretty simple. So for us, we'll just say demo and we'll call this our cohort. Then click next. Under pricing, you can choose whether you want this to be a one-time or a subscription or a split pay upsell. For us, we're going to choose subscription because in this example, we're going to use like a cohort where we're upselling from a standard membership and including a cohort based component with that membership. So we're choosing subscription and our quantity will be unlimited because we don't want to limit how many of these we sell. Or in this case, if it is a cohort and we are having a live component, maybe we do want to limit this to just perhaps 10 people. So maybe the first 10 people that get this can uh, basically participate in it. We can save that. Thrivecart also lets you reset the countdown. So it's almost like fake scarcity in a way. So if that's your thing, you can click that. Otherwise we can click skip this upsell, click save settings. And for us, we'll have our billing frequency be monthly. We'll set our today price. So for us, this would be the price to get into the cohort. We'll say it's $750 upfront, and then it'll be $24.99 per month. However, we can also use a trial period, which is just a, a way to say they're not going to pay anything immediately. So our trial period could be, let's say six, and we'll change this to months with an indefinite number of rebills. And now what's really handy, and I really like and appreciate this about Thrivecart, if you look down at the bottom, it says your customer will be charged $750 immediately for their 180 day trial, and then $24.99 a month. In other words, they're spending $750 right now, and in six months, their monthly will kick in. I love how Thrivecart makes the pricing component of this so easy. So we'll click next, and we won't do any tracking here for our uh, demo, but this is where you would add things like Google Analytics or other tracking things you're using for your CRM. And then under affiliates, if you want affiliates to apply to this upsell, you would enable those here as well. And now we go to the fulfillment tab. Now, we don't need to do much here. So right now we're just going to leave this blank because we're going to handle the fulfillment on the product side. So we'll go ahead and click next. And then under behavior, if you're using a tool that integrates with Thrivecart, like an email autoresponder, like active campaign here, you can do any kind of active campaign syncing that you want, or you can handle all of this on the Thrive automator side, which is what I personally prefer to do. So I'm not going to add any behavior rules. Now we just click save my upsell. Okay, our upsell is made. Now let's go to our main product where we're going to apply the use of this upsell. Back on our products tab, let's find our product. In this case, we'll use my membership demo that I've created. And you'll see a button here that says create funnel. Go ahead and click on that. And now we want to enable sales funnels for our product. Check that box. And here's where we reach the first nuance or the first little bit of information that you just have to understand about Thrivecart so you can understand how your sales funnel is going to work. If your front end product, basically if the product you're enabling the sales funnel for, Thrivecart calls that the front end product, if that adds the user to a membership site, if it's a membership fulfillment product, then your upsells are going to need to be membership fulfillment oriented. So there's not mixing and matching. You can't have, let's say a physical product that takes them to a thank you page and then an upsell that puts them into a Thrive Apprentice membership type product. It just doesn't really work that way. So here I'm going to show you kind of what I mean by that. So by default, this is how our product works. We have Thrive Apprentice as our membership platform. We are adding them to our membership site. We are adding them to this particular membership site. And if I come down here to configuring my upsells, upsell number one, let's go ahead and choose that demo that we just created. And then we can choose which product we add them to on our site. So in this case, I would drop down all of my products and then I would choose my 
cohort product or I would choose whatever I've created in Thrive Apprentice to go along with this particular upsell. Then you would choose whether this upsell is a replacement for the following purchase. So if I want, if you remember the pricing, we had $750 up front, followed by a $25 per month membership fee for this cohort. In this case, it would not replace the product's pricing because they would still get access, in my example, to Convology Pro, which is all of my courses, a community, and things like that. I want them to get that, and I want them to pay for that. This is in addition to, so this is an upsell that does not replace. But if yours does replace, then you can choose what it does replace in your funnel. We'll leave ours at none or default and we won't set any downsells. And in Thrivecart, we have the option to set up to five upsells and downsells. Now we're not going to get to editing the page just yet. We're going to go back to that nuance I was talking about. So let's say when someone purchased my front end product, I wanted to display their invoice. Notice down below, I can no longer apply them to a Thrive Apprentice product. I can choose what the upsell is, but then nothing happens. If I go provide URLs for purchase, then I can provide URLs for purchase. If I added them to the membership site for my base product, then I'm once again able to add them to a Thrive Apprentice product in the upsell. So these two things, the front end product and the upsell, have to be the same type of fulfillment at Thrivecart. In our case, that's actually pretty good because we were using Thrive Apprentice and we want to keep people inside of that same type of workflow. Now at this point, we can edit our upsell page. So with this button off to the right, let's go edit. Now we have the option. We can use a Thrivecart hosted upsell page. In that case, we edit this just like we edit the product checkout pages in Thrivecart. Their editor is actually pretty good. You can create just about anything that you would want using it. However, if you would rather use your own page built in something like Thrive Architect, you can choose to use your own custom page. Here you launch the embeddable upsell editor, which still functions just like the Thrivecart product checkout editor. However, this would be embedded in a more fully fleshed out page that you've built. So this would just be the checkout cart component. If you go this route, you do need to embed the code and the code is going to bounce your users back and forth. This might be something I'll make a video on if you're interested in that, definitely let me know. But for this one, we're just going to use our Thrivecarts page so we can launch our upsell editor. And here we can make a couple of different tweaks to this. I'm going to let you customize yours however you want, but I just want to point out there's a couple of really nice things here. I really like this progress bar to show people they've moved from the checkout to another phase and there's still more to go. And you can click into this and you can customize this text if you'd like. So instead of customize, change this to special cohort offer, something that lets the person know that they're seeing something different. I thought that's better than customize. And you can edit each of these components. So I can edit the dotted lines. I can make it solid. I can make it dashed. You can edit all of the text. You can fully edit the button. And down below, I think this is also very nice. This is a continuation of that pricing uh, explanation that I thought is really good. And it says by clicking the above, you'll be charged, etc. I think that's really, really good to have. And I might even add in more text to make it clear what somebody's getting. So in our case, this is in addition to our front end product. I would add something that would say, add this in addition to the front end product so that people aren't confused and they know exactly what they're getting. And then I think if you're a Thrivecart Pro member, I think this is a pro feature. You can actually hide the Thrivecart uh, branding if you like. And in all, you can do whatever you want to this page in terms of colors and things like that. So go ahead and customize this design however you like. And when you're done, all you have to do is click complete in the top right corner. Okay, so now our upsell is complete. And let's go down to the bottom and click save sales funnel. And lastly here, Thrivecart gives you your checkout URL, the ability to view your checkout, go back to jump into editing, and then down at the bottom here, the ability to just click customize sales funnel. And if you click on that, it just takes you right back to the funnel. So that's it. That's how easy it is to add upsells and downsells. It functions the same way. You just add upsells and downsells. And if you added more in that chain of five, it would go upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell, and so on. Using Thrivecart, it's incredibly easy to build these funnels. And I think that's one of the things I really just love about the product. It's super easy. It just works. The only, I think, tricky component of this is that nuanced way in which if you have a membership fulfillment front end product, your upsell must also be membership fulfillment based. So for us, if we're adding our main product, our front end product to a Thrive Apprentice product, our upsell must also do the same. But thankfully, Thrive Apprentice products are incredibly flexible. 
technically you could just have an empty product that literally does nothing and it would still get around that kind of you got to use a membership fulfillment thing so in a way that's a trick if you wanted to just get around that i've gone ahead and included a link down below if you're not yet a thrivecart user and want to pick it up and if you have any questions about thrivecart definitely feel free to leave a comment